I know that the second uh, point about everything that begins to exist, that has obviously, uh, in some circles, is more controversial. Um, yeah. So I, I would be curious uh, to hear what you uh, say about that. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I'll take that question first. That will be yes. <laughs> Let's review. The first premise is that everything that begins to exist has a cause of its beginning. Now, as you say, I think that's hardly controversial. Things don't just pop into existence out of nothing. Out of nothing, nothing comes. So if something begins to exist, there must be a cause that brings that thing into being. I think that's quite perspicuous. So the more controversial premise is the second one, that the universe began to exist. And here I would marshal both philosophical arguments as well as scientific arguments in support of this premise. Concerning philosophical arguments, a medieval Jewish philosopher like Sadia ben Gayen uh, defended uh, arguments for the beginning of the universe on purely philosophical grounds, showing that there cannot have been an infinite regress of past events, and therefore Sadia claimed there must have been an absolutely first event uh, which was brought into being by a transcendent creator. And I'm persuaded that these purely philosophical arguments are sound arguments and have defended them in my published work. What is incredible is that since uh, the second decade of the 20th century, there has been accumulating increasingly scientific evidence uh, or confirmation of this second premise. And I have reference here to two things. First would be the discovery of the expansion of the universe and the Big Bang model of the origin of the universe, which shows that the universe cannot be past eternal, but must have had an absolute beginning. Over the decades since this was first proposed in the 1920s, there has been a parade of alternative theories trying to avert the beginning of the universe predicted by the standard model. We've seen oscillating models, vacuum fluctuation models, steady state models, and over and over again, these theories have been shown to be either mathematically untenable or physically uh, impossible, or they actually wind up implying the very origin of the universe that they sought to avoid. And so the evidence is such that a cosmologist like Alexander Vilenkin, um, a preeminent uh, astrophysicist at Tufts University, can say that all the evidence we have says that the universe had a beginning. Now, that's a remarkable statement. Think about it. Vilenkin does not say that the evidence for a beginning outweighs the evidence against a beginning. No, he, he says all the evidence we have says that the universe had a beginning. In fact, I'm not aware of any evidence that the universe is past eternal. What evidence we have is all on one side of the scale. And so I think that makes it highly probable that in fact, the second premise is true, that the universe began to exist. Uh, in addition to that, there's also scientific confirmation from the second law of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics shows that the universe cannot be projected uh, into past infinity Rather, there must have been a beginning a finite time ago in which the energy of the universe was simply put in as an initial condition. And since then, the energy level has been uh, running down just like a clock that has been wound up uh, and is gradually running down. And so we have very positive uh, and powerful scientific evidence in support of that second premise that the universe began to exist. And and even if we go past, because um, I know this is a little bit out of my depth, but I, I know you discussed this with with, with uh, Roger Penrose that there's time, there's like ordinary space time, and then there's of course before that you could still there's still cause and effect in the sense of temporal ordered time. Is that correct? Like like even if well, we were to say before the Big Bang, there would be time in a, in a certain sense. In physical cosmology, Ben, there is no time. 
before the Big Bang. That is inept to say what was before the Big Bang. That's like asking what is north of the North Pole. Um, the initial cosmological singularity in the standard model simply represents the beginning of time and space-time cannot be projected further backwards than that. Now, as a philosopher, however, and metaphysician, I think it is coherent to talk about a sort of metaphysical time that existed prior to the inception of physical time. And I think a knockdown argument for that would be that God could count down to the moment of creation. Uh, negative three, negative two, negative one, let there be light. And in that case, there would be a series of mental events that would be sufficient for time even prior to the inception of the physical universe. So I think it is possible to have a kind of metaphysical time prior to creation, though I see no basis for postulating that sort of pre-creation time. Uh, and indeed, I don't think it could be infinitely extended. And therefore, I, I, I adopt Occam's razor here. You don't postulate uh, entities or hypotheses beyond necessity. I think it's simpler simply to say that time began at the moment of creation. So on the model of uh, time that I adopt, I argue that God without creation is timeless, but that he enters into time at the moment of creation in virtue of his causal relationships uh, and knowledge of the temporal world. And, and I guess you can't, so uh, this might sound like a silly question, but I know that there's this notion of quantum foam. Maybe this is one of the models you were talking about. That yeah. wouldn't be eternal and, or, or, or it would be because there would have to be like some cause that brought that into being, right? Or Yes, it can't be projected into the infinite past. Um, the Lincoln himself tries to offer a quantum physical model to explain the origin of the universe. And these models, if they're to be consistent with the evidence, cannot be projected into past infinity. So the argument for the beginning of the universe doesn't depend on there being an initial cosmological singularity. You could have a quantum physical model of the origin of the universe that would not involve a singularity, but nevertheless, these are still past finite. They cannot be projected to past eternity and be physically adequate. 